Hello, welcome back. So as you can see, I just traveled a little bit. So let's check out the familiar house, which has this weird distortion effect, which I hate a lot. You cannot hit me. So I guess it's just junk you are getting over here as usual. Eh, okay. I think we're searching the drawers of the desk. Uh, help me? Okay. Uh, let's not make any more jokes about being slow. I, does the watch affect it anyway? It doesn't seem to affect the time. Uh, I think this should make it be normal almost. So how can it be 1940 if they have uh, computers? I don't know, it's a mystery. So yeah, nothing to read, nothing to inspect, and those didn't have anything interesting. Well, I guess it's supposed to be one of those flavor things. Did I forget to... Oh, no. I equip it. <laughs> I like that, it just presses a button and everything goes to my inventory. Central processing unit, where did I get that one from? Was it from a computer over here? I thought, uh, well, never mind. The CPU is needed for the turrets. The turrets are used in the defense mini game, and I think you are only supposed to get CPUs per finished uh, tower mission, tower defense mission, but uh, I guess I'm wrong. Anyway, this is very important. That's all you need to know. Especially if you're playing the game right now, from the beginning. Uh, well, I went the other way this time. Okay, these guys are so annoying. Four bones. Well, let's see if we can find the bones we need. Okay, that's only two bones. Let's see if we can find one more bone. No, I don't want to fight you. Oh, that was a wheel battle filled with bones. So let's see how this exactly works for the stronger stuff. You are not stronger, zombie, leave me alone. Okay, so what did they do? Keep 5 mana infused enemies inside active mana. Well, <clears throat> we killed them, but it. Oh, so if you activate it, it remains active and you. Okay, okay, now I understand. Well, I understand more or less. Well, I guess we can throw away some of the. the scrap and the leather. It's a very interesting mechanic. Well, I guess if the target or if the enemy is not moving, it doesn't count as an enemy. So is this over here, the typewriter, huh? Classical. <laughs> Open the door, go outside. Oh, this is one of the... I forgot what this is called, the grammatophone or I don't know. Interesting to find it over there. So that's everything that was in this part of the map, really? Not much, I have to say. Store 50 legendary materials, nice. 
Oh, okay, let's heal a bit. So, as you can see, the game has advanced a lot. I like all of those new mechanics. They definitely help with the tedious work. Oh, but don't tell me I... Do I have to give it materials every time I want to use it? Because that would make it the whole process useless. <sighs> yeah, why does it always have to be so boring? So now I have to carry bones and mana beds with me. Unusable. <laughs> Let's open the door. So what is this place over here? Just another weird place. And to be honest, I don't even see a fishing spot. Oh, it's a cassette. Yes, this is how extremely good the <laughs> Kopesh is. Especially for collecting resources like this. Oh, I thought I destroyed the tape recorder. Okay, that's scary. No sign of the original inhabitants. Lucky me. I'm starting to think that this joint might actually be haunted. We got pounced on by, uh, spirits? I've never seen anything like them before. I was pursued by one for so long I got separated from the main gang. I'm not so sure I can get back to safety with those... things out there. Don. Hmm, the pot is... Uh, sad and not really on anything. So this is the shattered suburbs, but I only saw two houses. Well, I guess they are really shattered. I have a feeling these guys don't count, because when I killed this spirit inside the area, it didn't count. You are lucky. You are very lucky. Okay, let's get out of here. I mean, let's go deeper. Into the unknown. Cannot damage them. <clears throat> I think I have to try the rifle as well. Well, this is annoying, so the only way to get rid of them is to die. Okay, I'm not sure what is about this type of enemy because you can only kill it with a crossbow bolt, but to. To have a better chance of killing them, you need more crossbow bolts. But to get more crossbow bolts, you need to upgrade the weapon, which needs... Guess what? Oh, man. I wish I didn't upgrade the other stuff then. Yeah, I really wish I didn't upgrade the other stuff if I had known I was going to need the mana bit so badly here. Oh, it doesn't need mana bits. It needs mana shards now. Oh. Okay, this might be dangerous to upgrade. Well, now I feel a little better. Uh, yeah, I don't really like some of these mechanics. It seems like it's very grindy to even kill the enemies. So I guess I can try to lead these enemies into the mana chamber from over there, but it seems like again it's just too much work. Oh but I don't have any bead any beads. Oh 
Okay, so I guess we just have to explore it. And do the quest later. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. I, I thought this would be a pretty straightforward adventure, but you have to do so many gimmicky things. Can I loop around? Well, at least on the map I can. I guess I will have to farm off camera because I like, I think I like uh, farming these guys more than I like, you know, doing the regular stuff with the mana beads. But I guess it's not efficient, so I'll have to go back to the surface and do this a long, long time. Hmm. This will destroy a lot of stuff. Okay, careful now. So this is a house with imp important and interesting stuff to see. Okay, let's destroy like this. I'm too lazy to go to the other side, so I'll just destroy the walls. Oh, bricks. I haven't seen bricks in a while. <laughs> I hope I'll not see them very soon either, because they are very annoying together. Also, I think I should destroy this, because this gives... Uh, they don't give the stuff I think they would have given me, okay. Don't destroy those, those are not worth destroying. Well, there is no door, but it's faster this way. Ah, not really. That's a weird quest, you... How do you find the six mana spirits? And the problem is I only have five crossbow bolts. So what if you accept it? Oh, so you have to remember the location of the spirits and then kill them. Well, that's boring. Hey, where is my mana bead? No, no, that quest is very tedious. I'll have to do it at some other point. Oh, they even have the the ranger symbol on the cars. Hmm. Okay, okay, we're advancing a little bit, little by little. We're getting closer to the main quest. I think we'll also have a boss fight at some point. So that's what I'm trying to do. Do all of the... Find the source, audio documents, and also the boss. Yeah, we travel quite a bit from the underworld entrance. We still don't know how to get over there. I guess we just have to loop all around this place. Yeah, this place seems pretty straightforward. Peekaboo! I think I was hitting him. What is this? Oh, it's the... Yeah, okay. It's nothing important. So this thing have, these things have bones and leaves? It's a cactus with bones and leaves. That's not good.
Wait, what am I doing? Why am I wasting so much time? Yeah, that's a lot faster. There is a little bit of a fog effect, I don't know why. Oh no, I need to use the num. Oh, it scared me for a bit, but it's okay. Well, time to fish. Okay, let's make another plan. So what is the main problem over here? I need to go somewhere and I don't know where. <laughs> I also want to collect all of the lobsters because I have a feeling we'll need at least 50% of the total lobsters we can catch over here. Yeah, good thing we have the watch, otherwise this would be taking much too long. Yeah, the fishes have run away with their little fish feet. Uh, I think this needed a mana shard or a mana... We had one on us, or did they take it from the inventory? I don't know. I don't remember this particular mechanic with the mana rifts. Uh, open. And it takes us to another fishing area. Well, I guess I should fish everything I can because I'll forget what to do next time. Or I'll forget what I have to do. Now let's enjoy some very, very calming underwater, underworld fishing. I mean, we just have trees made out of bone and leaves, which have very weird branches. And also have lobsters. Oh, you can fish mana... Mana beads and mana stuff from the water. Mana beads and mana shards. Okay, now it's really worth it to fish in this area. Yeah, let's send everything away. And already, <clears throat> you have to juggle a lot with the controls. I also feel like we're getting a lot more bones than we need. Also, that's the only thing, but it seems a little bit cheap to make us come all of the all this way just to fish over there. Okay, can we go to the other side and see what's there then? It will destroy it for sure. Yeah. That also does damage to me, so I have to be careful. Oh, it's mana chunks. Where did I get those from? This secret well. Yeah, they are really well hidden. I like this mechanic a lot. The stash is over there, we clear the stash. We are well I guess we can explore this area a little more apparently. Oh no we can because we cannot go higher than this. <clears throat> so our only way is to come down from here. Well I guess it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, that was nice exploration, and I guess we got a lot of mana chunks, so we can even do more rifts if we see them. I kind of hate the static sound. Maybe they should replace the static sound with something more pleasant. 
<sighs> I'm a bit lost right now. So this is a dead end, that's a dead end, a dead end, dead ends everywhere, so where am I supposed to go? Huh. I suppose we can go back to the campfire and see if there's another way. Yeah, I was hoping for a quicker exploration, but apparently this is very, very slow. Okay, now the game is just teasing me, so apparently I can go and find some shortcuts to other areas, but... I need to upgrade my damage. Maybe I should just upgrade my damage, my power fist to 90. So I can bypass all of these stupid obstacles. How do we get over there? Because apparently we cannot cross it anywhere. Oh, we can cross it over here. Is that a derailed train? Yeah, it's a derailed train. I like trains. I hope we can see the station or maybe there will be another train. So, how do I get over there? Huh, that's a good question. I mean, on the minimap it says I can go through the mountains over here. Basin of Solitude Underworld. But I suppose the fire, the campfire is in the other location, in the other direction, but <laughs> we'll go the wrong way first. Let me guess, unusable, yes. <laughs> By the time they manage to turn around, they are dead. Well, that was not a great use of the mines, because I blew up myself. Oh no, it's so long. Well, I shouldn't take too long, sorry about that. Why did I die? Well, probably because of the movement speed. As you can see, you don't have a lot of time to think about what you're doing. You're just doing it. It's a pretty sneaky location because you might think you cannot cross it. Huh. See, the fireplace was exactly over here. Well, let's recover our body and we'll explore that area a little more. And then I'll end the video. Okay, press the wrong button. <laughs> this is a bit creepy, I, I have to admit it.
So there's nothing over here? Again, just a big loop around? Yeah, apparently everything is a big loop around, so I was not talking, I was just thinking about this. So what's the point then? Uh, I guess the point is to explore more, but I don't really see any benefits. Yeah, it's just... Man, the design of this is weird, you just loop around everything. Okay, so <clears throat> this is just another area that is purely designed for you to just go into the portal. And again, it's weird. <laughs> and if it gives me plastic and junk, I will hate the game. Come on, mana beads, mana stuff. Yeah, thank you for the teacups. That's pretty lame. Really, that's all that is over here? Did I miss something? Is this a joke now? I guess that's every. Oh. Nope, no secret over there. But I guess we can also destroy them if we want. Uh, remember, there is a very weird mechanic in the game where some crates, if destroyed, will give you a recipe. It's supposed to be kind of a secret stuff. I guess nothing here. Oh, we're not home free. It makes us go over here. Oh, this will be fun. Yeah, I thought this guy was going to kill me, but now I have enough health to survive one hit from him. Okay, so what's the point of this huge loop around? There has to be a point to this madness, right? I guess it's just for farming, more and more farming. Oh, this seems like an easy... okay, okay. I might have misread this. Oh, okay, now I see what they... No! <coughs> I cannot shoot that from here. That's so unfair. That's so unfair. So that means I have to return to this. With the full inventory, yeah, it really makes it hard to advance without without the home teleport. I just got the home teleport and then you cannot use it because you are not in the real world. Yeah, go away from here. <laughs> they become so... Passive, so nice and gentle. 
What is this one called? I have to see the name. Farm of Desolation. Yeah, it sounds like a good name for a book. Okay, sorry, I just have to know what's up there. And I have to know right now. No, this is way too confusing. I mean, look at the map. You, I cannot even remember what portal I used to come over, to come up there. <laughs> this is super confusing and I hate it. I hate games that make, you know, make it everything seem like it's a maze. Which rift did I enter to go up there? Was it that one? But how did I get up there then? That one is for that location. I think I used this one. Okay, let's get up over here. <laughs> yeah, I'll just forget if I don't do it right now. Sorry about this. I don't want to make episodes so long, but it's impossible to remember all of this stuff. Okay. Oh no, no, don't fall down. You know, just in case, let's have full HP and let's prepare the Kopesh. Yeah, it's always tricky to kill those guys. Now I have a grenade, finally. Well, that was not really worth it. Not really worth it, but now I kind of completed that entire area. Okay, let's open up this one. I don't think it will need anywhere special. This is a never-ending teleporter. <laughs> so it leads to that place over there, which we need to open this. Okay. Which puts us over here, but why? I don't see anything special over here. No, 100. Okay, 100 again. <coughs> okay, so this is just the safe area where you're supposed to descend. Okay, that was a lot of boring stuff for nothing, so we can go up, we can go to the right, and you can go, no, we cannot go down. So, or either up or to the right, well, I guess that's a lot of work we still need to do. Uh, we'll probably choose up, and if we die, we'll go to the right. <laughs> Yeah, let me end this on a location that will not bother me. So I know what to do next episode. Thank you.
Thank you, dog. You are very kind. I mean, look at the wolves. They even listen to you. The power of the fire. By the way, the fire has a very weird glow to it, and it really is like it's from another world. That's cheating. Go away. And this is where I died. Oh, and I leveled up. Now, I really want to play more of the game, but it's again, I don't want to make the episode super long, so... Let's take a quick peek at what could be over here. Oh, so that's how you get to the left side of the map and possibly go to the thing we saw, okay. Okay, so we'll just have to go to the right side, because here it will just loop around and go to the main objective. See you next time, bye!